I'm Tony. And I'm Jeff. We're in gaming, and that's you. Hello gamers and welcome back to the I'm Rob. I am Tony. And today we're going to be playing some Road to Legend. We'll be going from rank 8 to 7. I think we should be playing, we left off playing Freeze Mage, so we'll play some Shaman. Yeah. Midrange Shaman? Midrange Shaman. Well, okay, what else is pretty good and fun? I mean, Midrange Paladin's always good. Um, mm. Warrior's always good. Dreadsteed. <laughs> Dreadsteed, not so good. We'll Alright, we'll just play Shaman and hopefully we don't Dreadsteed get shit Dreadsteed is such on. a funny ass deck though. Dreadsteed is a fun deck. Power of but the problem is if we go against any sort of tier one deck, it just gets absolutely destroyed. Like Secret Paladin, goodbye. <laughs> just absolutely bamboozled destroyed. Um, bamboozled destroyed. That's 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 real. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, this is why I want to play Freeze Mage for these ranks. Because it's just like pow Secret Paladin, Secret Paladin, Zoo Lock, you know, Tempo Mage. Just like Freeze Mage just fucks all those classes up. Like absolutely just destroys. Dude, that last fucking and, game yeah. we played against that Secret Paladin in Last Road to Legend. Yeah. Oh, destroyed. Absolute yeah. devastation. And the thing is, the people aren't even, like, the people at our ranks don't want to play Freeze Mage because it's a difficult deck to play, and they probably lost with it. So they just like, oh, it's a bad deck, or oh, it takes too long. But really, if you're... Freeze Mage is a good deck. Yeah, if, you, if you're... Tier uh, 2 right now. If you're, uh, how you say them, uh, confident in your deck, and you play well, you can actually do pretty quick games for the most part. Yeah. Um... But well, mid-range shaman's good too. It's just if this guy, you know, there, there's no if a tier one deck like Secret Paladin or a mid-range druid gets a good hand against a tier fucking four mid-range shaman deck, there's nothing the mid-range shaman deck can do um, no. besides just pray. Okay, so this is fine. Will he pop the spider? This is really interesting that he'd choose to hit the spider. Except we like had a knife juggler, which we don't. But if we did, but if we um, did, oh, it would have made a world of difference. So we'll see what totem we get. Spell power totem. Um, he I don't coined, see so I don't see why we wouldn't swing into one of these guys. Yeah. Um, you can't coin and concentrate because he used it to summon a mustard for battles, and it's going to take every card on his field to kill my trog, which doesn't necessarily matter. Unless he hammers a wrath. Okay. Oh man, why would you reduce its HP to O just to play a 3 3? I suppose that's decent. Yeah. At the same time. He technically has done absolutely nothing. <laughs> Okay, so we can go ahead and we either play the Shredder or we Haunted Creeper and then passive, but problem is playing... Why, why would we Shredder there? Survives a Consecrate. Yeah, we're going to go this way. There we go. Let's assume Consecrate. <sighs> I mean, he could King's Hit into it too and survive. I was just letting him know the options, Tony. Of Creeper, passive, or most broken four drop in the game. <laughs> what? Attacks the Pretty spider. Pretty good 2-drop and a really shitty passive. Another oh. monster. Out. Well, he go... You you should have attacked the... Sh okay. It's <laughs> an interesting, uh, interesting play nonetheless. So we can actually Crackle Haunted Creeper, save Shredder, or we just play another Shredder. I mean... Why yeah. play anything else but another Shredder? Yeah, he could have attacked a 1-1, one, one, but it, he still would have had one, so if he has like a buff nonetheless, he's going to swing the buff into our other Shredder, so there's no point to... Oh, fuck, I didn't see this coming. I mean, I knew it was mid-range, I just... Uh, for some reason, it didn't occur to me that he's playing like, mid-range. That's fine, though. I mean, the the Keeper, or Aldor. Aldor's played in Secret. He hasn't played a Secret, though, so we should have suspected that. That was my bad. Okay, so this, this, that, or just this... I think this that. Is, yeah, good. it's fine. He still has to react. Can't kill that. Use both we monsters. have another one in case he summons something else. That's a card. Okay, that's perfectly fine. If he swings into it, we just fire him it again. Yep. Pyromancer is a card, though. Um, I don't think we run Lightning Bolt here. I was going to say we Pyromancer in the mid-range pally. Ooh, Neptaloon. So good when we have nothing else to play. <laughs> the problem is we don't want to play the Haunted Creeper into the Wild Pyromancer, but I think the Wild Pyromancer will actually die this turn, but Neptalon's probably going to be the card we play next turn. I bet, well, I bet there's people who have actually never even seen Neptalon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. They're like, what is that? What, what I've is never card? seen that card. I didn't know Shaman's had any legendaries. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Shaman legendary? All right, so Neptalon, let's see what Murlocs we get. Okay. Uh, Murloc Knight's pretty decent. Uh, Zombie Chow doesn't. All right, so let's just, let's how he's gonna kill this. Still let's good. how he gonna kill this. <laughs> I'm thinking, do we Zombie Chow or not? I think the answer is yes. 
Okay. What was the other option? Murloc like Tide Color? What is it? One. Whenever you play another Murloc, it comes one attack. attack. None may steal. Solid. As my, see, this is what I'm scared of: is the shredder just singing into the zombie chat. But we have two lightning storms, which would really be pretty good here. That would be pretty nice. Oh man. <laughs> oh, oh man. So this is the trade I was scared of. He basically gains five health and loses nothing. So glad shield and mini bots going away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, five health for you. So God, he, no he's back on board control. No, I mean, we have card advantage though. Yeah. And with the. Uh, Silt fin, we have some decent card draw potential if we can have him play into that well. Um, boom, 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 two. We can so, make, like, the first thing that comes to mind is like mm -hmm. Tide Collar, Bluegill, Haunted Creeper, and that's it. That's it, because six mana. Um, or are we just Emperor Tharzan? He swings, swings, all discounted. We play a field full of Miller Ox. He doesn't have burst. Darts to play. We have too um, many cards that, like, now we can actually go ham next turn. Like, absolutely ham. If he doesn't clear the field with Bloodlust, he has no burst. Yeah. He's going to kill Tharzan no matter what. He pops the Shredder, which was important, and to begin with. And he gets rid of the 1-1 one, one that was annoying that was going to be able to kill off our card anyway. The That's Lance a hand doesn't matter whatsoever. I mean, I guess it does. If he didn't have it, it would be much preferred. But he used his entire turn to heal and draw cards. While now, if he would have set up more creatures, it makes it really difficult for us to come back. But now is the Murloc army. He could also Consecration. We could Feral Spirit's passive as well. I'm, 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 I'm scared of the Consecration card, or the Equality Conso. But we're going to play into it anyway. And then it's cost one. I would have uh, Feral Spirit's. Nah. Hell Hey, we drew a card. That's what I'm And double about. crackle, that's a lot of damage. We wouldn't have Tharzan in this combination of cards. Would have never happened. Thanks to Neptalon and Tharzan. Murloc so, Magma is great. As long to get as he too. doesn't equality consecrate, which I think this attack is leading up to. Oh, that would be devastating. Yep, here comes the equality consecrate. Fuck me. That's why we held the spirits. Do we actually draw? No, we won't because they don't die they die something. Like that that play was basically him me hoping he didn't have the one combo in his deck that clears board, but he does. Uh, but there's a good chance we draw on the lightning storm. No lightning storm. Those bad minutes. <sighs> Alright, so God, can you imagine if they lived spirit, in the Spirit Spirit Crackle looks pretty good. This is a good play. Okay, healing totem. Yes. So if he swings in the shield of mini bots, yeah. they just get healed back up. So best case scenario, he can kill two and take the shield and divide um divine shield off of those. Yeah. Alright. Put your faith in the Oh! I All was right. gonna say polymorph. We have two hexes in the deck. So we draw a hex. <laughs> we draw a hex, we're back in this, boys. Alright, we can still so, Oh man, we don't draw a hex. Because this is gonna cost oh. all our mana. There's Owl, though. That's pretty good. Owl is indeed pretty good. All right. So we'll just <coughs> Owl the Tyrion next turn, or if we draw into the Hex, that's good as well. Unfortunately, that... The thing is, he can't even clear right now. I mean, he could have another Consecrate. Nope. Swing your Tyrion into my Owl. Fucking death. You <laughs> have fucking mercy, this is man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Can we draw, like... Where's our removal? Fuck I me, know. dude. Jesus Christ. I mean, owl on him needs to happen because fuck the 5 3. Passive, and then. I was hoping for. Alright. At least we can set up a wall of shit. RNG. Oh, man. Really? I mean, what else uh, do you see? Aside from Argus to taunt up what we have, nothing. It's almost better to do Tyrion though instead, because that can that has a fifty percent chance of actually killing Tyrion, as opposed to twenty five percent chance of killing Doctor Boom. Feel oh. bad. Fender Vargas in between uh, Drake and Owl. My shield for really? Don't. Yes. 
Okay. Are you going to swing that into... Uh, assuming you're drawing lightning next turn. Yep. That's the only play. That is the only play. Is to draw... You know, we have two hexes in the deck and we have two lightning storms. We've drawn right. none of which. So. No ED. No ED. Oh. There it is. Got a quality. He wins. Uh, uh. Oh, that's rip. Yep. Okay. We'll play one more, and if we lose this rank, we'll be doing some deck ads. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm dying. I'm really sorry, guys. But I'm not actually dying. Don't worry. I'm still with you guys. For now. And Robbie, if this is very loud and Just recording, call me Robbie. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, no. We lost a subscriber. Oh, Rip. How dare yeah. they? Warrior's not too bad. As long as we don't draw horrible. Honor Creeper's nice, because even if he kills it, just brings out more shit. I like Shredder as well. Yeah. Get rid of Iron How do we not draw it? Iron Beak or either of our hexes? There's our Lightning Storm. Like, we there literally had ten cards left, and four of those cards were all our removal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> feels so Like, bad. even drawing one of them would have saved us. Just one. Just one of those cards. This is why this is not a tier one deck. This is why this is not a tier one deck. But I mean, Warrior has four removals, double the shield slams, and executes. It's literally like the last ten card of a Warrior deck not having, oh, we're playing against a patron deck. Which is fine. So or face. Star. Or face, but most likely patron. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, you can ping his patrons. Interesting card choice. Alright, um, coining into sh Haunted know. Creeper does literally nothing. No, so. then we don't have turn two. Yep. And then that feels bad, man. So, like. What's he got? What you got? Uh, Armor Smith. So, yeah, patrons. So, coin. Spirits. And then just play Shredder naturally. I mean. Spirits. So we... Yeah, next turn we have one mana. We don't care about next turn. This is turn three is weak as fuck. Because if he if he war axes, he floats one and he can't death spite. And then next turn we double hit into the armor smith, unless he bashes. Bashes is the worst card. But I mean he only has four cards in hand and he's already played creatures. Unstable ghoul, that's not the best that could have happened. Why would you make that attack? He needs the armor. He needs Why the... would you make that particular attack? Because now this hits into there. Oh, I guess. I guess I shouldn't have attacked, but this has to happen anyway. I mean, he gets a lot of armor. And and armor doesn't matter, forward. but look at his card, his hand. He's taken no damage, so he can't battle rage. And he has a 1-1 one, one on the board. So as long as he can't fill out his curve with like 4, 5, 6, 7, which hopefully he can't, um, his lacking of cards. And it doesn't matter too much. So we shredder if he just goes to like, eh, I'm not really worried about it. So Shredder's Bash here so would be good. good for him. Bash would be very good. Turn 5, what do we have? We don't want to overload, so Crackles are out. Lightning Storm's out. Defender, there's no two cards, so it's almost like Haunted Creeper pass. Death Spite's good. Hits into Shredder. Please have at least three attack. Two attack. Nice. Sick. That cut first value. <laughs> <laughs> well, the attacks with his weapon... Shit on the field dies. I mean, we either Lothib or we Lightning Storm and Cupid. We're gonna do this. I mean, I guess that's fine. Because the Haunted Creeper can test both these cards. And also, if he wants to attack with Despite, these cards die anyway. If he decides he wants to Patron, we go Iron Beak the three, Lightning Storm the rest. Ooh, seems decent. Indeed. That's bad. Oh, fuck me. Two drop draw two. Why not lightning storm? I didn't lightning storm because we can't lightning storm because we have to wait for the patrons. <coughs> and we couldn't kill these cards because we couldn't fire a lance at one. I mean, even waiting for the patrons is lightning storm scary if you don't have any spell power to go with it. Because then it just does two damage and they get one. Well, that's, I mean, what other field clears in this deck? We pass it. We pass it. Hopefully, we get a spell power. We combo it with an Azure Drake. Battery. Another battle rage. Are you serious? Oh man. That's your only draw mechanic in this entire deck is getting a warlock passive from your this and like alkalites and battle rages. Fuck. <laughs> we went from having two cards in hand or three to now six. Uh, where's the justice? 
Did he just not attack with the four one? I have no idea. Did he just not attack with the four one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, Tony. <coughs> so this would go into there. That doesn't feel good because then he can just swing his death spite into here and kill all of these. So this would swing into here, and then this goes into here. So now if he attacks this, we still get one ones out of the deal. Yeah. We also could have. Oh, we're gonna see a patron. Uh, I think we're gonna see a patron in, we also uh, in could a have in her hatred. Crackled in her defender. Rage. No, but the no, patron. No, that doesn't make sense. Could have hit it. Crackled. Whirl Whirlwind. Boom. All right. So what if we? This is. What five. if we just conceded? <laughs> It's not too bad, Tony. It's not too bad. <laughs> I mean, it's bad, but it's not too bad. We can see how greedy he wants to be. Oh, that four face. Can we not? Oh, okay. Thank God. Let's see how greedy he wants to be. The power. Because <laughs> next turn we just file a mental crackle. Double heroic strike. To <laughs> 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 Would that be enough? No, that wouldn't even be enough. Please tell me you have inner rage too. Oh. Ugh. All right, we're not playing shaman anymore. Disgusting. All right, time to do that, guys. I mean, what do you do when this happens? I mean, we could have killed the boom, but it would cost us three fucking cards. That's not worth killing boom. Like, if we waste three cards to kill one, and he did damage to our face, we lose the game. Like, in that matchup, I mean, he didn't even have to play the Patrons, but I think we played it right. Like, you can't just burn everything and then him be able to re redraw with the Battle Rages. Yeah. Um, I mean, Warrior's not known for Burst unless you Hellscream Inner Rage, and it was going on to turn 8, which means he had to have both those cards in his hand. And, oh, fuck me. Mm. Anyway, guys, you won't be seeing this video anyway. Oh, yeah, you will, because this will be part 1. So, actually, we can play another game. Okay. <laughs> if we lose this, then we're done. Do we play fun and interactive though? <laughs> We're gonna probably do our deck guide in fun and interactive. But what deck do we want to try to go back to ranked eight with? Am I ramping it? No, yeah, let's have fun. What is this? Communion. Ah. Uh, I don't really communion. care if we lose. Because if we lose, then we just do deck guides. Because we can't do deck guides at a rank that we're doing Road to Legend with. So it makes sense. Astral Communion. Deck Communion. And if we win, please then... please give us the dream. Please, <laughs> just give us the dream. Give us Another that coin innervate. Odin. Wow, well, Thor's dead. Well, I mean, Thor's dead. And... Must be preserved. All right. So, do we keep the novice engineer? No, you literally always just go for it. You just always go for it. Oh man. Okay, Tony. Hey, look, novice engineer. Ooh, there it is. So we played on three from what we have here. Come on, innervate. Dude, if we get innervate. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <coughs> Will we get innervate? That is the question of the day. Innervate. Double engineer. Okay. Do we even engineer next turn to get, try to go for Even if we engineered and then tried to get for the innervate, we couldn't even play it anyway. So there is, is there actually a point to novice engineer? Because then we communion, our hand's going to get even worse. I guess we can rave an idol for an innervate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, starfall? Why would we starfall? Our hand's going away. Mm. We moonfire. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. Do it. He's going to be, he has no idea. <laughs> He's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's seriously just gonna be like, what? Well played. Well played. He must know what we're playing. Well played. He has no idea. Not playing anything and then Raven idling on turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Astral, here we go. Right, there's no way to get around. We have to Astral. I know we Astral, Tony. But the question is, I mean, we, we engine it, it doesn't fucking matter. I was looking for ways to draw after. But... So that's why Loot Hoarder is good. So like, you Astral, you have Loot Hoarder out, you hit after the Astral, and then you play something for 10 mana. That's why Astral... Uh, I mean, Hoarder. ideally we're in favor though here, because we had on turn 3. That's pretty damn good. If you can get it on turn Man's 4... That's decent, but I mean, he Wild Growth into Shredder and Aspirate, so that he's played... He's, he's basically at 7 mana anyway. 
And we actually, her deck is built around getting mana, and he almost has the arm, the arm out of mana. Just get, Look at that. Oh. That's probably the worst card in our fucking deck. A Wrath would have been fine, a Swipe would have been fine, almost any other fucking card. Yep. Alright. Well played. Stop well playing, you're getting fucking spot up. That is a well played now. Look at that. A non communion deck out ramped a communion deck, even though you played it on three. I have no time for games. So ideally this is gonna hit my face for four. Hits it for three. So he he uh how you say him uh Savage Warriors anyways. <laughs> Oh my god, Savage Order 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, oh. good job. You're a I fucking boss. Feels good. Like yep. Midrid. So All right, that time. All right, so part one. As always, guys, I'm Rob. I am Anthony. And happy whatever the hell day it is.